originally I, I'd been looking at um, you know a cottage or a small house or an apartment or whatever but I, I had concerns about the overhead of you know maintaining your own property over time you know, like a house there's always something that needs to be done which uh, and I didn't want to be distracted by having to you know think about I don't know cutting the grass or redecorating or any of those kind of things so when I um, li quite literally stumbled across um, this development that Hoburn had it really appealed but I did have a concern I think well you know who are Hoburn I'd never heard of them you know there are, are some names in, in this uh, sector that you would have heard of but the more I researched the more I liked about Hoburn I never felt I was being sold to I was made to feel very comfortable and a very important part of that was when I met Alex actually was able to explain the concept behind certainly this development which was slightly different to some of your other parks. And I really bought into that because I could see that he was enthused and excited about that and truly believed in it as well. And that, that gave me, uh, yeah, again, a good feeling. So much of it is feeling with these kind of things. It certainly is with me. Cornwall is an area, certainly this part of Cornwall, an area that you know we've known for 25 years and we just repeatedly kept coming back. At first it was every other year and then it became every year and it became a thing that, you know, it didn't feel like we'd had a holiday unless we'd been to Cornwall. I'd never heard of St. Mavis and I know this area very well and uh, finding it, I thought, oh, Actually, it's a perfect location. You, I, looking at it on a map and, and also sort of doing a couple of test drives, whatever, you're no more than 30 minutes from anywhere you want to be in Cornwall, really. The village is lovely, which is a five minute walk up the road. There's a lovely pub, you can have a meal there. Uh, here as well, but also having a dog. It, you know, wherever we go, needed to be dog friendly and, and here especially so. You know, you can have wonderful walks here and it's just a very nice, comfortable environment. I think you need to look at all aspects, you know, from, you know, your journey time, from where you are, how often you'll use it, having the flexibility to know that uh, if you can't use it, that you can rent it. Otherwise, it, you know, it can become, without sounding mercenary commercial about it, that, you know, that you can uh, get a return on your investment as well. You know, again, that was a big aspect for me that I wanted to know that, you know, if I bought a property, just, you know, that moves for the market. This is a very different kind of um, concept, but your return on investment can come via rental. And the fact that Hoburn do make that easy, that was a big plus for me as well. You know, I have no clue, you know. For me, I, I can decide, you know, very last minute, I, you know, I can decide at five o'clock on a Monday evening, actually, I've, I've got two or three days worth of what in effect are conference calls and Zoom meetings, team meetings or whatever. I could do those in Cornwall. It would take me four, four hours to get from London to here at that time of the evening as well. There is always something to do in Cornwall or somewhere to go, independent of the weather. But in Cornwall, it's beautiful, you know, whatever the season, the changing seasons, you know, I, I love that. Cornwall is different every season. It has a, takes on a different persona and there's a different attraction. So there's no downside for me with Cornwall.